Stephen King is counted among the legendary creators of some of the most horrific antagonists we've seen in film history. Be it Kurt Barlow, Cujo, or the infamous Pennywise, who has been the talk of the horror world these days, with the news of the IT TV series brewing to be released, many speculations have been derived from the novels and the films, and the fans can't keep calm. Let's refresh our memories about the previous chapters as we narrate about what happened so far in the story while describing everything we know about the horror of Pennywise and what the new chapter may bring us. Before we go into explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. It Franchise More Than Meets the Eye Known as the King of Horror, the 76-year-old Stephen King has crafted several intense plotlines, not just in horror, but also in suspense, fantasy, crime, mystery, and science fiction genres. One of his most famous novels is It from 1986, which has been adapted into the big screen several times. It was first adapted as a miniseries in 1990, and the second adaptation came in 1998 as a 52-episode Indian TV series named Wo in Hindi, which translates to It. The third adaptation came as the blockbuster movie in 2017, produced by Warner Brothers and directed by Andres Muschietti, titled It, and its sequel came in 2019 titled It Chapter 2. The story is based in the fictional town of Derry, Maine, and revolves around the unfortunate events that take place in the town due to a mysterious entity. It follows a group of seven outcast kids known as the Losers Club as they bravely challenge their fears. On a rainy day in 1988, a six-year-old named Georgie asks his 12-year-old brother Bill to play with him. However, because Bill is sick and bedridden, he instead creates a paper boat for Georgie to play with. While playing with it in the streets, Georgie loses the boat in a storm drain. As he tries to retrieve it, he comes face to face with a terrifying looking clown who introduces himself as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Georgie is enticed by the clown to get closer to the drain and Pennywise then bites off his arm before dragging the poor kid into the drain. Eight months later, Bill, still haunted by his brother's disappearance, believes that Georgie must still be alive and decides to find him. He is accompanied by his friends Richie, Eddie, Stan, Beverly, Ben, and Mike on a scary mission into the sewers, known as the Barons. All of them are considered outcasts at their school, and along with the battling their personal problems, they also struggle with a group of bullies led by an unnecessarily violent boy named Henry Bowers, who shows some serious psychopathic tendencies. The group learns that their town has been haunted by the disappearances of children for centuries. An ancient shape-shifting evil named Pennywise, or It, emerges from the sewers every 27 years and preys upon the children before vanishing for another 27 years. With the help of Ben, the most research-driven kid who had been collecting clues regarding the incidents, they find that all the sewers connect to an abandoned house that has a hidden well inside of it. Assuming that the entity moves through the sewers and hides in the house, they decide to confront it. When they encounter the entity, they learn that it has immense powers like teleportation, telepathy, mind control, sized alteration, and most scary of all, shape-shifting, which uses it to morph into the worst fears of the children it preys upon. Pennywise also possesses Henry Bauer and instructs him to commit horrible crimes on its behalf, including killing his own father. The group soon realizes that Pennywise's sole power comes from instilling fear in its victims, and once they learn to overcome that fear, they will be able to defeat it. Although Billy never finds his brother again, the group manages to defeat Pennywise, beating up the supernatural entity like a ragdoll before it goes into 27 years of hibernation. At the end of the first film, the Losers Club makes a pact to meet 27 years later, which marks the return of Pennywise from hibernation and stops him in his mission. The sequel, Chapter 2, reunites the group as all of them have left the town and built lives for themselves, except for Mike, who has stayed and dedicated his life to researching how to end Pennywise once and for all. 27 years after the first film, Mike witnesses Pennywise's return and calls up the group. Although they don't even have Mike's number saved and have started to forget about the past, they still decide to come back and reunite. However, Stan, who suffered the most in the first film, ends his life out of fear of returning to the horror he witnessed as a kid 
and letting his friends down. Once again, Pennywise wrecks havoc onto town, killing several kids and possessing Henry Bowers, who survived the sewer and was arrested for the murder of his father. Henry escapes to Juniper Hill Insane Asylum he was kept in as soon as Pennywise summons him for a job. With the years of research, Mike has learned about the ritual of Chud from the local Native Americans he has met. This ritual requires the group to collect artifacts or objects they were connected with when they first encountered Pennywise. Each one of them goes through a series of incidents where they come face to face with the morphed versions of Pennywise. They all narrowly escape it while retrieving the objects that were important to them in the first film, followed by flashbacks of their childhood selves. They then go into Pennywise's lair and perform their ritual. After burning their artifacts inside the ancient vessel that Mike received from the natives, they summon Pennywise by chanting, Turn Dark to Light. This turns the entity into its original form of deadlight before capturing it in the vessel. But they fail to successfully contain Pennywise as it escapes much more inspired to kill them. Growing even larger in shape, it ends up killing Eddie before getting impaled in the head by him. After much struggle, the group finally resorts to throwing insults at Pennywise, showing it that they did not fear it. They humiliate it by calling it just a clown, causing it to shrink smaller in size and turn into a tiny creature. They rip Pennywise's heart out and crush it together, marking the end of it. Welcome to Derry, the prequel is coming. That was how the Stephen King novel and the films ended, but the news of another chapter being added to the series has sparked exciting assumptions about what it would be like. Variety magazine reported in March 2022 that Andy Muschietti was developing a prequel to his much-beloved IT film series with his sister Barbara Muschietti and screenwriter Jason Fuchs. The project received a production commitment in November 2022 and got the green light in February 2023. The prequel is going to be a nine-episode TV series titled Welcome to Derry, where Bill Skarsgård will be reprising his role as the frightening Pennywise while also serving as an executive producer for the series. What will be the story? The directors, the Muschietis, have previously stated that they have failed to include many of the elements from the original novel in the two films. This TV series gives them ample opportunity to add all the elements they've missed out on while giving them a chance to explore more of their favorite novel. The story is going to be set in the 1960s, years before the events of the films, and will focus on the origin story of the clown, or the original entity. Although the entity's origin was referred to in the films, it only briefly touched upon the subject, and its true story still remains a mystery. It will shed light on the town's past since its creation, as stated by Ben, who states that Derry began as a beaver trapping camp. When the people signed a Derry Township Charter, all 91 of them disappeared, leaving only a bloody trail that led to the horror house we're all too familiar with. This incident might also get explored as the prequel goes back in time. It is believed that Pennywise has been around Earth for more than 500 years, and many even have arrived from another universe where he existed for millions of years. This opens doors to explore more about a past and form a thickening plotline on the past of the creature. It can be speculated that the series will be followed by several seasons with a wide range of possibilities for its story to continue. As we've seen in the films, Pennywise is too skilled and intelligent in capturing and killing its victims, which can be summed up to its years of experience and practice. The show may show us how this evil creature came into being, including its first kill and all those that made him better at his chase. It can also be speculated that the creature will possess more people like it possessed Henry Bowers to work on its command, and another set of kids will have to face it while fighting their own fears. Hence, the film will be dwelling deep into the history of the entity that has taken over several horrific shapes, the most famous being the one of Pennywise, the clown, to haunt the town of Derry and feed on the children. It may dive deep into the horror story from Stephen King's novels, where he has mentioned Pennywise's previous hauntings in the town, while also creating its own original background. Confirmed cast of the series as mentioned before, the most remarkable of all, Bill Skarsgård, who played It in both films, will be reprising his role for the TV series. The other cast members are all new faces as it is set in 1960. Although their roles are not revealed, the live and new faces have been confirmed, which includes Jovan Adepo, the British-American actor known for his roles in Fences 2016 and Babylon 2022, Chris Chalk, known for his role as Lucius Fox in the drama series Gotham, 
Taylor Page, who starred in the crime film Zola, James Remar, who is most notable for his roles as Ajax in The Warriors and as Albert Gans in 48 Hours, Steven Ryder, who is known for playing Blake Tower in the Marvel series Daredevil, and Madeline Stowe, known for her films Revenge and Unlawful. Other actors from the cast include Kimberly Guerrero, Dorian Gray, Thomas Mitchell, B.J. Harrison, Peter Orderbridge, and Joshua Ogden. We have a release date. The filming of the series began in 2023 and it was previously set to release during the 2024 Halloween season on the Max OTT platform, but due to the SAG after writer's strike of 2023, the release was pushed and rescheduled for 2025, which will now be releasing on HBO. Marvelous Verdict until the production chooses to reveal more details about the upcoming series, this is all we know about Welcome to Derry, the next chapter in the IT franchise. We can assume that it is going to be just as remarkable as the films, with a previous creative team joining hands and we will get to see the in-depth story of how the creature came to be and what havoc it unleashes in the fictional town. With Bill Skarsgård reprising his role, we can hope to witness the same eerie presence on screen as IT looms around Derry. What are your thoughts on the upcoming series? Comment down below with your expectations and assumptions. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!